It's Thursday, the 19th of October 2017, and you're here for a little bit of an earnings breakdown. There's no two ways around it. Sometimes we just have earnings that aren't that exciting. I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. Today we're going to be looking at Philip Morris, Verizon, PayPal, and Rogers from up here in Canada. We're going to start it off with Philip Morris, the cigarette company that's looking to make as much money off you as they can before they kill you. Earnings per share of $1.27 missed the street by 11 cents. Revenues of $7.47 billion. Missed the street as well by $250 million, but they're up 7% in revenue year over year. Cigarette sales volume, though, which is the big coup de grace for Philip Morris, that's what they do, they sell cigarettes, is down 4.1%, and not a person in the world is probably sorry for them because... Who wants to be invested in a company that sells cigarettes? I don't know. I've never been invested in Philip Morris myself. I'm not really too enamored with the company. Very big company, very big name. But uh, yeah, don't hold them too near and dear to my heart. Not too sure why. Verizon reported earnings today. Earnings per share of 98 cents. That was in line with estimates. Revenues of 31.72 billion. That beat the street by 270 million, and that is up year over year by 2.5 percent. They added 603,000 postpaid sub, and the retail postpaid churn was 0.97 percent. So they added a lot of subscribers this 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 past quarter. But Verizon still has to be overtly concerned about what's going on with T-Mobile and Sprint as they get bookended by two major, major companies. Sprint, who's bringing on T-Mobile, we think, and AT&T, that's bringing on Time Warner, we think. We don't see Verizon really doing a whole lot of anything, and this is really going to put them in a pretty precarious position where two big Goliath companies that cover a lot of ground are really, really going to be pressing in on that number two spot. I mean, AT&T is well out in front, but T-Mobile and Sprint without Verizon doing much, uh, I'm not too sure how long Verizon stays at the number two spot without T-Mobile and Sprint really utilizing all their connections and just hammering it home. I mean, that, that's got to be on the horizon for them. That's got to be what they're thinking. So I would imagine Verizon's got something. They've got some sort of an idea, but what that idea is, I'm not entirely sure that's going to be tabled. It hasn't been tabled up until this point. It's definitely not going to be tabled yet, but I would imagine behind closed doors of the board of directors, there's a lot of conversation about what needs to be done. Uh, Verizon also said in the earnings call that their integration of AOL and Yahoo is well ahead of schedule. What that means is probably not too, too much, to be honest with you. I don't think too many people use a lot of the AOL or Yahoo stuff anymore. To, but uh, it's definitely on the table. It's getting done. They, they assure us over at Verizon. Things are being done. Thank you, Verizon. Now on to some good earnings calls. There were some good earnings calls. I know it's the first time since Tuesday we've had some earnings calls that really blow stuff out of the water. PayPal reported earnings. Earnings per share of 46 cents beat the street by 3 cents. And revenues of 3.24 billion beat the street by 60 million. That's up 21.3% year over year, though. I mean, that's the big number to me. For a revenue call, for a company like this that's so entrenched in what they already do, a company like PayPal to have revenue growth of 21.3% is is substantial. That's off the charts. And I mean, you take a look at some of the numbers and you can see exactly why that happens. So 8.2 million users added. Um, the net new active users were up 88%. Up 88% they were up net new active users. That is, that is a massive number, massive number. Uh, 218 million active customers in total over at PayPal now. And their payment transactions, payment transactions went up 26%. So not only are they adding a ton of people, a net new active users, 88%, they're adding a ton of people, but they're adding a ton of transactions as well. And hence the reason you take a look at revenues up 21.3%. PayPal closed the day at 67.25. That was down 0.02%. But I mean, this earnings call is, that's what you want to hear. I mean, that's what you want to hear out of any company, everything they're looking to do, all these segments that they're working on were up significantly. PayPal with a heck of an earnings call. If you're looking to do any type of investing, please consult licensed professional financial advisor before doing anything, due diligence, the whole nine yards, you know what you're doing. The last earnings call we have of the day is Rogers up here in Canada. Earnings per share of Canadian dollar two cents. Revenues of Canadian 3.58 billion. That's up 2.6 percent year over year. Now, uh, their revenues and operating profit in all segments except for media 
were up. Media was down 3% in revenues and about 18% in operating profit, but wireless was up 9% in revenues, cable was up 2% in revenues, and business solutions was up 6% in revenues. So all their segments were doing fantastic. Their postpaid ads were up 129,000. That's the most that Rogers has had in eight years. So while this is a really good earnings call, Rogers, you cost me so much money for my cell phone bill. Your earnings call's fantastic. I love that. I don't own any of your stock. This is killing me, killing me. You're spending all my money. You're making yourself look great. Rogers, what you could do is you could give back a little bit to the guys that have been with you that have brought you to the top. Clearly, you're doing phenomenal work. I'm glad to be associated with you, but uh, remember to reciprocate that to the little guy. Hmm? I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, leave a thumbs up for this video, all the videos, click a bunch of the links down below. It's super fun to just randomly click hyperlinks on the internet. I mean, what else is it here for? And leave a comment. We love hearing from you. I want to know what you think about this earnings, about earnings season, about anything you got in your portfolio. We love hearing from you. Have yourself a wonderful day.